Now, most people know that carbohydrates can release insulin, and some people also know that protein itself can release insulin. Um, so therefore, it makes sense that amino acids, that the building blocks of protein, can also release insulin. Interestingly, based on what we found in research, it's actually select amino acids that have this insulogenic effect. Uh, most noticeably, the branched-chain amino acids, and specifically leucine, are actually very potent initiators of insulin secretion. Uh, research has found that as little as one gram of branched-chain amino acids can increase insulin. Mind you, just slightly, but the increase is there. And small doses of branched-chain amino acids can actually increase insulin levels above what we could consider fasting. In fact, if we measure the free fatty acids in your blood, as the amount typically being released from your body fat, as an indicator of whether or not you're in a fasted state, a small dose between 1 and 10 grams of branched-chain amino acids can decrease your free fatty acids in your blood or decrease the amount of fat being released from your body fat stores to a level that would no longer can be considered fasted state. That's how powerful branched-chain amino acids are for releasing insulin. This raises a couple of questions, uh, mainly being if you're looking for an insulin spike after workout, you know, how much extra carbs do you need? Because we've also found that adding insulin to a carb dose increases the insulin response to that carb dose. So you may not need as many carbohydrates as you think you do if you're taking them with branched-chain amino acids. The other thing you may need to think about is whether or not the branched-chain amino acids you are taking are um, suppressing the fat-burning effect of fasting. From what I can find, I highly doubt this effect, I highly doubt this effect is, is very strong, but it's something we do need to consider. So in short, amino acids, specifically the branching amino acids, and even more specifically leucine, can cause an increase in insulin in your body.